good morning in today's class let us discuss one example under genetic programming that is block stacking problem problem so this is the solution to this block stacking problem is given by poza uh, first let me explain you what is the block stacking pro problem so we are we are taking a word universal the letters of these word let us take each individual letter as a block now here you can see the configuration we have a table and we also have a stack on the stack you can see few letters and on the table also you can see few letters so let us talk this as a block not a letter so now block v block u block l block a and block i are on the table and block n e s r are there on the stack so now what is the block stacking problem is from this configuration finally the word universal should be placed in the stack okay so when you pop out from the stack you will you should be able to get the word universal okay so for that various genetic programs were chosen by poza okay uh, nearly has chosen 300 programs and he has given 166 various configurations of this so this is one table configuration right so like this he has given a total of 166 configurations or the initial board states he has given and out of those 300 one program outperformed which has given us the best fitness value and that was taken as the solution to this block stacking problem okay so what should be the solution and here certain constraints are also there at a time you can move only one block from the stack so that means you can remove one block from the stack and you can place it on the table or you can move one block from the table and you can place it on the stack okay so only this can be performed and the condition is only one block can be moved at a time so the solution that is given by the genetic program which was implemented by COSA is so initially we have these alphabets already on the table V, U, L, A and I these are there already on the table and now from the stack all the alphabets are removed and placed on the table first N is popped out and then E is popped out. Always the top of the stack is popped out. E is popped out. Then the top of the stack is S. This is also popped out and placed on the table. And finally, R is popped out and placed on the table. So that means what operation was done, remove everything from the stack and place it on the table. So stack to table, all the blocks were moved until the stack is empty. Okay, these operations I will explain you later. I'm just formulating it. And now from this table, all the ones should be moved into this stack. Only one block should be picked at a time. So okay, the first letter that should be placed is L because in the stack, as I just explained, only top of the stack will be popped out. So, the first, initially the stack is empty. The letter L is taken from here and placed in the stack. And then A is in the reverse order of this. And then S. And then R. And then E. Okay. 
bench, bench, bench I, and then N, and finally. So when you pop up, we get the word units. This should be the final solution. So for this, Posa has to finalize which genetic program will give him the best result. So for that, what should be the first step that should be done? Identifying the primitive functions and the terminals should be done, right? So the primitive functions that were identified by Posa are the first one. M is move to stack. M stands for move. S stands for stack. Move to stack. If block X is there on the table and this operator will move X to the top of the stack and returns a value T. Successfully, if it is able to move, then it is returning a value T. Otherwise, it does nothing and it will return a false value. Then MT. Again, M stands for move, T stands for table, move to table. If block X is somewhere in the stack, so this operator will move the block at the top of the stack to the table and returns the value T. Otherwise, it returns the value F. The next primitive function is EQ. EQ, X, comma, Y. EQ stands for equal, the first two alphabets of equal. It returns T if X is equal to Y, otherwise it returns false. Okay, from time to time we will be checking whether we are putting the alphabets or the blocks in the right order or not. So for that we will be using this equal. Then not X. This will return T if X is equal to false, otherwise it returns F if X equals to T. D U. D stands for do. U stands for until. Do until X Y. This is similar to do while. It executes the expression X repeatedly until expression Y returns the value T. So that means until Y is true. X will be performed for Y times. Then. The terminal arguments. Primitive functions were decided. So now the terminal arguments should be chosen. So that means what should be the arguments that we will be passing to these primitive functions. The first primitive function, uh, the terminal argument is CS. C stands for current. S stands for stack. The name of the top block on the stack or F if there is no current block. Always this, this will return the name of the top block on the stack. TB. So this TB is top current block. Name of the topmost block on the stack is returned such that it and those blocks beneath it are in the correct order. NN. Next necessary, name of the next block needed above the TB, top current block in the stack, in order to spell the word universal. So, okay, what should be the next necessary block that should be moved on? Or F, if there are no more blocks are needed. That means you reach to the final configuration or the desired arrangement. Then you doesn't need any more block. In that situation, it will return an F. Okay. So as I mentioned, the initial population that is taken by COSA is 300 random programs he has taken. And the, to calculate the fitness, how do we calculate the fitness? By executing these programs, again, is the training data. Okay. So here... 166 training example problems of different degrees of difficulty are given. Okay, so how we got this 166 training examples is I have shown you one board configuration. So like that, various combinations were taken. So 
like the total of 166 initial block configurations with various levels of difficulty were taken. So altogether, 166 training examples were formed and for all, the, all those were given to these programs and they were executed. After that, the fitness was calculated. Out of these, one has given the best result after 10 generations. So the solution is here. This is the solution. Do until. So here you can see two parts. E2 is equal. One second. Let me take. So EQ stands for equal. DU is do until. What should be done? Move to table. CS, current stack. Whatever is there in the current stack, you just remove everything. So initially we have N, E, S and R on the stack. So all these should be popped out from the stack and placed on the table until not CS. So this is the termination condition, not CS. So this current stack will return you a false value when the stack is empty. So that means until the stack is empty, move everything to the table. Yes, now all are moved to the table. So this do until part is done. Then move on to the next do until. NN stands for the next needed one. Okay. So this should be MS, move to stack. Okay. So from time to time, what is the next needed one is decided by the program. Okay. So from the universal, all the letters of universal are placed on the table, right? So now one by one letter should be picked up. First L should be picked out. So this is our NM which is passed to this MS. So move to stack. So the letter L is moved to the stack. So like that all the letters from the table are moved to the stack until not NM. There is no next block. Okay. There is no next needed block until this returns you a true value. When it will return a true, when there is no more blocks that are needed. So in that case, it will return you a true value. So then, not NN. So this NN is returning you a true value. Not NN will give you a false result. So then this do until loop will stop. So that means what we are doing, we are initially placing all the blocks that are there on the stack to the table and then from the table we are moving all the blocks to the stack one by one and finally we are checking whether these two are equal or not okay so this is the final solution that is obtained by course so this ends our genetic programming hope you followed this thank you